If you're looking for cheap and instant Madden Ultimate Team coins, head on over to MuttCoinBank.com and use the discount code RBT for 10% off. And if you're looking for packs actually worth opening, check out MaddenMascot.com and use code RBT for 10% off. Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is Samuel Brown, aka RBT, coming at you with another episode of Memory of McNair. Today, the Super Bowl promo was released, so the goal of today's episode is to get a Super Bowl Elite player added into the team. Now, how good we do in today's episode is going to determine the quality of Super Bowl Elite player that we are going to be able to add into the team. Although, I did get some complaints on last episode where people didn't want me to put all the upgrades towards one player. A lot of you said you like it better when I kind of split out the upgrades. I kind of thought you guys would like it better if I tried to go ahead and get a lot of big players into the team. So, for today's episode, I still might try to get a Super Bowl player into the team, but I'm going to try my best to spread the upgrades as well. So hopefully you guys do enjoy today's episode, and I'm going to do something I've never done for this series. I used to do it for my old Road to Glory series, and I've never gave you guys the chance to do it for this one. And I'm going to do it because I've kind of been slacking on this series and only uploaded probably two or three episodes the past two weeks. So if today's episode can hit 1,500 likes by tonight, I'll go ahead and make another episode and upload another episode of this series tomorrow. So 1,500 likes by tonight, and we'll see another episode of this series tomorrow at the same exact time so hopefully you guys do appreciate that and also if you guys have yet to subscribe to the channel be sure to do so we're getting so close to 100,000 subscribers so every subscription does count and last thing before we do jump into the game for today's episode I do want to say I made a major change on defense and hopefully you guys are okay with it what I did was went ahead and changed our cornerback number one from the ultimate freeze Deion Sanders to the Pro Bowl Spectator Edition Deion Sanders because it's the same exact card, just different chemistries. And I got to thinking, why not go ahead and sell that Deion when I can get some coins because I have the same exact Deion and the team is untradeable. So it'd be stupid to keep that Deion. And the only thing that it changed is the chemistry for Sean Taylor and Javon Curse is not really activated. Javon Curse was a 95 previously and Sean Taylor was a 94. So what I need to do is eventually upgrade another ultimate freeze defensive player into the team so their chemistries can get activated because I only need one more. And with that being the case, and since we have this Neon Sanders in the team, that can help open up a couple more possibilities to make this card pretty freaking awesome with those two awesome chemistries, the pick specialist and lockdown chemistry styles. And we could add some pretty awesome players into the team instead of just putting all ultimate freeze players, which it looked like it kind of was going towards. But with all that said, guys, let's go ahead and jump into today's game Hopefully be great and get a ton of upgrades. Gonna keep it on the ground so this guy stops me. Then I'm gonna chunk it deep to the main man, Mike Evans. Derrick Henry up the middle again. Gets the first down. You know what, Mike Evans. One-on-one -on -one with the safety. Come on, Mike. Be great. Mike Evans, one-on-one. -on -one. User versus user. And Mike Evans with the catch. Dude, he's a freaking cheat code. That's going to be another touchdown pass from Steve McNair. That's two upgrades for the touchdown pass to Mike Evans. As we're going to take this lead, 7 to nothing. if I don't miss that. I didn't miss it. Thank God. But guys, Mike Evans is just like Calvin Johnson from my Road to Glory for Madden 16. Absolutely unstoppable. And there's no reason. There's absolutely no reason to not throw the football to him. The underneath throughout is going to be wide open. That's going to be... This game's crazy. Third down and five. Can we play some good defense over the... My controller don't work. I held down Y. That was an easy freaking pick. I don't understand how some of you guys do it. I can't do anything else than hold down the freaking button. Five Y is going to kill me, family. That's going to be another freaking first down. User in the bronze guy, Collins. User in Collins. He's going to throw it. That's going to be another first. That's freaking Russell Wilson on a bronze linebacker. Mixing things up. Bringing pressure. That's going to be... Oh, my lord. Third down and goal. The slants are coming. I... <laughs> dude. I, I wish I... I'm going to start getting a freaking, like, controller camera. So you can watch me press the buttons. So West Saxon's going to be open for a split second. He's going to fit it in there. West Saxon gets the first down. Second down and 10. What are we doing right here? What are we doing? X is going to be open. We need a nice throw. Kenny steals. What a perfect throw from Steve McNair. It's that's going to be our second touchdown pass of the game as we regain the lead. 14-7, pinning the extra point. Two more upgrades for Steve McNair from the touchdown pass. Puts him up to four in this one. It's going to be a play action pass. His first of the game. I'm running cover three. He has a guy coming across the field that's going to be open. He's going to throw it right... 
I'm in the vicinity of the Avery guy didn't come. Third down to one. Nice job there from the defensive lineman. I think that was Javon Curse that squatted the ball down. I know for a fact this guy's about to go for it on fourth down to one. What would you do on fourth down to one? It's probably a fullback dive. It's the quarterback sneak. He didn't get it. He didn't get it. He didn't get it. We get the ball back. That's what I'm freaking talking about, guys. I'm going to try hitting him where it hurts and throwing this one deep to Mike Evans and try to get a touchdown on the next play after the turnover. Because if we do, that will be a freaking heartbreaker for him. He's got one deep safety. There's no way this corner catches this one-on-one -on -one Mike Evans. Mike Evans is too deadly. That's, I just, I can see that animation coming from a mile away. Although, I guess it's fair. I guess it's fair because Mike Evans shouldn't catch it every time. That's my fault. That's an interception from Steve McNair. That's minus one upgrade. It's going to be another play action pass. He's, he's not going to be open. I'm ever, I just, I don't know what to do. I guess I'm just, I guess I'm pathetic. A pick's going to happen. I just know it is. After so many times I've been so close, it's going to have to happen eventually. Or he's just going to. Just flip the ball away, and we're not going to get the sack. And he's going to pick up the next play for a first down. Got to stay positive. Got to stay positive. We're going to get the sack. No way he picks up a fourth down and 21. Please, please do not pick this up. Thank God. We get pressure, force the air and throw as we get the ball back. I'll be lying to you if I said we did anything other than run the ball backwards negative nine yards on the previous play to set up for a third down to 19. And I really hope we don't waste this possession because that would be two turnovers that we wasted and didn't score. So hopefully we can pick this up and be great. RB, can he catch this ball? Oh, don't pick it off. Oh, man, I thought I could possibly fit that in the seam. You know what? Sometimes in life, dude, you gotta be wild. He's going for it. We're gonna go for it and be freaking wild. Sometimes, like I said, life is just about being freaking wild. Fourth down to 19. We're gonna pick it up because crazier things in life happen. If anything, I'm just gonna throw this deep to Mike Evans and nobody's open. So let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Mike Evans is the move. All A was wide open, but Mike Evans is gonna catch this right. Oh! A was wide open. Come on, get to Aaron Rodgers. Oh, Lord, this is a touchdown. Unless Deion Sanders can catch him. Oh, I that was bad. <laughs> Another play-action pass. Come on, boys. We're not letting him pick this up. That's got to... Sometimes life isn't going your way. When you have a football coming right towards your face, and instead of putting up two hands, you just do that, life ain't going your way. Fumble, fumble, fumble. Pick it up. Pick it up, somebody. Uh, this is dumb. This, uh-uh, Madden. That's Madden. <laughs> Gotta stay positive. Pick that some, what even, what even, what, how is he not throwing an interception? Slant patterns, the slant patterns. I am the most fidgety individual on the face of this earth. How did he sack me? Third down and 14. I, I threw the ball away like an idiot. I thought I was about to get sacked. I suck at this game so bad. Why do you guys watch me? I am just a pathetic human being. I'm actually, I don't know what the heck I was thinking there. Why do you guys watch me? I actually am pathetic. I, <laughs> this, I'm handing, I'm handing my, this is, this is playing for me the rest of the game. This water bottle, there you go. Better chance than I do playing this game. Third down and six. We need some type of Christmas miracle. I pressed, I swear to God. I, I am not making this up. I'm bringing freaking pressure. We're getting Aaron Rodgers. We're getting, we're getting the sack. That's what I'm talking about. Freaking miracles. That's a bronze Wilson. A freaking bronze with the sack. Come on, please do not let him pick this up. Just, just stop him. He stopped him. That's good. So the field goal is up. It is good. We still have a one-point lead. I'm telling you right now, if I do score in this drive, I'm going to go ahead and go for two to try to make it a two-possession game. I'm telling you that one right now, Captain. I'm telling you right now. West Saxon's gonna be open for a split second. Oh, oh! Here we go, boys. Third down and three. And if we don't pick this up, probably gonna lose. Hopefully, I don't. Cause I don't want to lose. I hate losing. I freaking hate it. Oh! What? He's getting some of the most insane sack animations I ever seen in my life. We need an interception. Bad. That's not good. He's in field goal range. It's not good at all. He's about to run him again. He's running him again. We got an interception. Let's go. Deion Sanders. Finally. Freaking finally. Oh my god. He thought he was freaking slick. He kept running them underneath routes. That same exact route. 
And then I was running main coverage. He thought on that little cheat out round, he was gonna throw it, get a completion for a touchdown. But no, 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 no. That Deion Sanders is gonna be freaking great as we get the freaking ball back. And somehow, we're gonna win this game if I don't get a delay of game. Get to the freaking line, Captain. We got there. We got there. As this is gonna be. A big run from Derrick Henry. Come on, let's get an extra upgrade. Let's get an extra upgrade. Derrick Henry to the house. As I probably should kneel this to seal the win, but I want to get another upgrade, boys. Let's freaking go. That gives us four on the game since we threw two touchdown passes. And Steve McNair threw an interception. He was back down to three. Then that gives us an extra because the touchdown run from Derrick Henry. And now I'm going to go for two to try to seal this victory. As he only has 22 seconds left, but knowing this guy's luck for the most part, he probably is going to score. And I know, like I said, the smart thing would have been to kneel the ball and just kneel the clock out win the game. But I wanted to get the extra upgrades. Now, let's be great and make sure we get this W right here. Steve McNair is going to scramble, and he's going to get into the end zone for the two-point conversion. As that seals the deal. 22-13. Oh, that was a wild one. <laughs> I ain't going to lie, Captain. That was a freaking wild one. Oh, are you rage quitting? Don't rage quit. You have a 19 set, or go ahead and rage quit, please do. He does rage quit because we get an extra upgrade from the rage quit. So we do get this win, 22 to 13. Why do you rage quit with 19 seconds left? So now it's time to count the upgrades from today's game. Steve McNair did get two upgrades from the 200 total yards. He had 204 total passing yards, which is two upgrades. Two touchdowns through the air, which is an extra four, which makes six. He did have, that's, that's seven. This is six. The interception brings him back down to five, but the Derrick Henry touchdown run brings him back up to six. Then we get the win, which makes seven. And on top of that, we get the rage quit, which I guess I technically have to count because it is a rage quit. That gives us a total of eight upgrades from today's episode, which I think is pretty freaking awesome. So guys, with our eight upgrades from today's episode, we're gonna spread them out a pretty good bit. And hopefully you guys are happy that we are going to be getting a Super Bowl upgrade. Although we are spreading out the upgrades, probably the most we have in any episode so far. So first of all, we're going to go to the offensive line and go to the center position and use one upgrade and go from a silver center to a gold center. And that's going to be the center. That is Jason Kelsey. Everything is better on his card aside from strength from Mitch Morris. But I really do like that plus 16 to impact blocking. And his run blocking is a lot better and his pass blocking is a pretty good bit better. But the main reason I picked Jason Kelsey is because of that chemistry, that zone block chemistry. Because in the next upgrade, we we'll go to the left guard position and use two upgrades. Go from a bronze to a silver, from a silver to a gold. And that's going to bring us to the gold left guard. That is, hopefully I pronounced his name right, Xavier Suafilo. Every stat is better than this bronze James Hurst, which it should be going from a bronze to a gold card. And with that upgrade, that should boost up both of these cards to 85 overall. So we basically have, I would say, three elite offensive linemen as of right now, according to their overall, because 85 is base elite. So I think that's pretty freaking awesome. I think we can build on that chemistry moving forward. So that's the only upgrades we're going to be using on the offensive side of things. Now moving on to defense. Starting things off a little slow, we're going to go to the free safety position and use one upgrade. And that one upgrade will bring us from a bronze to a silver. And I kind of didn't want to upgrade Jalen Mills, but we're going to have to eventually. So that's what we're going to do right here. And that one upgrade will bring us to a silver. That is most feared. He's way down here, but it's going to be most feared. McKenzie or Maurice Alexander, sorry. Every stat is pretty freaking incredible. 88 hit power with 88 speed for a silver free safety is pretty good. He has, his man coverage is pretty crappy, but that's what expected for a safety. So hopefully he's okay. Jalen Mills played very well for a bronze car, which is why he stayed in the team so long. There's only a couple bronzes left to fill out in this team. And we're actually going to upgrade one of them right here. And that's going to use two upgrades at the left outside linebacker position to go from a bronze to a silver, from a silver to a gold. And that's going to bring us to the gold left outside linebacker. That is, once again, way down here. But that's going to be Bud Dupree because he's an absolute freaking beast, dude. Like, how is that a gold card? Almost every stat is over 80. He has 88 speed for 84 overall linebacker, 89 excel, and 89 hit power. Absolutely incredible. And I picked him because of that pass rush chemistry style, which boosts him up to an 85. And that also boosts up Everson Griffin to an 85 as well. So that's two more technically base elite cards into our lineup. And so far we have used six upgrades. And so for our final and last upgrade for today's episode, we're going to use two upgrades at the cornerback number two position. I already swapped Taiwan Jones and Bellamy, so Taiwan Jones can stay in the team at cornerback number three. 
but two upgrades does bring us from a gold to an elite card under 50k to an elite card over 50k and here is our first Super Bowl elite upgrade and that's going to be the elite cornerback that is Jalen Collins is actually a pretty freaking incredible card has very good size great coverage skills 92 speed at 6-1 like I said his only stat that kind of sucks is catching especially compared to Joshua Bellamy because he's a wide receiver and that's his out of position card but pretty cool right here we can go ahead and compare Jalen Collins to his NFL playoff card it's a six overall upgrade and like it's decent upgrade I guess but like nothing that really stands out his play rec actually stands out. That's a plus seven to play rec, which is pretty good. And the others are like plus two and plus three. So I guess it's a pretty good upgrade. Not sure if I really see a plus six right there, but hey, a 90 overall cornerback, I will take it. We'll probably end up being our third cornerback in the team after we get some more upgrades, but I think it's a pretty good upgrade. And I think we improved our team a pretty good bit from today's episode. But that's going to do it, guys, for today's episode of Memory of McNair. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it, and if you did, make sure to drop a like. Like I said, guys, 1,500 likes by tonight, and I'll come at you guys with another episode tomorrow of Memory of McNair. So hopefully, you guys want to see another episode tomorrow. But that's pretty much all I have to say. So hopefully, like I said, you did enjoy it. But with that said, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.